seeing what the naked eye can't. Well, the city of Fort Lauderdale is using some high tech methods to spot infrastructure problems in neighborhoods, all in an effort to fix them quickly. The technology is called laser mapping. CBS 4's Ted Scouton is giving us a look at how all this works and how it may help South Florida communities. Outfitted with lasers and cameras, this truck may look like it's mapping streets, but it's actually going after a lot more. Today we found it surveying the Rio Vista neighborhood. Where are the potholes? Where are the um, swells that are not working properly? Where are the sidewalks that may have some trip hazards? Elkin Diaz is the project manager with Fort Lauderdale Public Works. The truck is driving around the city about 50 miles a day, mapping out conditions on and around streets. It collects not only pictures, but specific information thanks to the lasers and LIDAR technology. Google Maps is just imagery, it's just pictures. This actually has a Every point will have an elevation, a width, we'll be able to get measurements out of it. Once collected, all the information will be analyzed and will map out where the problems are. Instead of going and, find, and, and hearing uh, a complaint from a resident, hey, there's a pothole on my road, with this project, we're going to be identifying all the locations where the potholes are in our city. George Butler has lived in Fort Lauderdale since the 70s. He saw the truck in his Rio Vista neighborhood and came to check it out. It sounds like a great idea being proactive. You know, if there's something going to be the matter, they have a capacity to know what to take care of before it actually happens and how to go about it. The blue shows what's already been mapped. The yellow is what's next. In all, this truck will travel on 715 miles of streets and alleyways. Down the road, it could also analyze the pavement, bridges, signs, and seawalls. Perspective is good that the city is looking ahead, um, seeing and identifying the problems before they appear. You'll likely see this truck driving around Fort Lauderdale until sometime next spring. After that, all the data is going to be put together and analyzed. That should be ready for use by sometime next summer. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouton, CBS 4 News.